What's happening, fam? I don't know whose lap this one is gonna fall in, but I gotta get it off of me. <laughs> Whatever you do in this life, do not die a dreamer. Don't end at almost. Don't quit at the edge. Don't be known as a woulda, a coulda, a shoulda. Don't do that. Just jump. Grow wings on the way down. Get off the dribble and take the shot. Let go of the rail. Stop hovering over your breakthrough life. Mash the gas. Don't taxi on the runway. Take flight. Why? Because listen, there are a lot of unwritten books in the cemetery. There are a lot of unopened businesses in the graveyard. There are a lot of unsang songs in the morgue. There are a lot of vacation plans cremated. Because the idea is to die on empty, right? Not full. So question, what are you waiting for? No, really, what are you waiting for? And please don't tell me the right time because the right time never exists. That time is now. Because as we speak, there's a new teacher that just taught his first class. There's a new surgeon that just healed her first patient. There's a new pilot that just landed their first plane. There's a new entrepreneur that just made their first deposit at the bank. It's your turn and the time is now because if not you, then who? It's time to get yourself off the bench, get in the game and take the shot. You should not need a tombstone to let the world know that you were here. So get up, get out and go live like you mean it. I don't know who I'm talking to with this one right now, but it's someone out there that's absolutely going through it right now. And I'm here to tell you, you gotta hold strong. You gotta dig in and you gotta fight, 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 fight. And I know the load gets heavy. I know your eyes get watery. I know you have those why me moments. I know at times your faith gets weak and your desire to give in gets stronger. I know at times it feels absolutely devastating, but you gotta fight. So you gotta fight through that chemo because your kids still need you. You gotta fight through the loss. There's still so much to gain. You gotta fight through the divorce. You gotta fight through the financial setback. You gotta fight through the job loss. You gotta fight through the depression. You gotta fight because it's not over. And hear me when I say this, the almighty always plants his best seed in the worst soil. And he knows when to water you. He knows when to provide sunlight. He knows how to make you grow through what you thought you were once going through. So don't you see, he placed you here to provoke your faith. He placed you here to ignite your belief. He placed you here to to give you a testimony so you cannot give up. Hey, what's happening? I was on this podcast not too long ago. The podcast is unreleased, so I was a guest on the podcast. As you know, I have my own. I am necessary. But we were talking about competing and competition. So when the host asked me one of those open-ended questions, he lit my fuse and I literally exploded, exploded, exploded. I said, sir, I am from Vallejo, Vallejo, Vallejo. So I've had to grit, grind, hustle, and scrap my entire life. Now you may have been given more. Inheritance, pop zones of business, resources, connections, things, stuff. And I salute that, congratulations. But I promise you this, you will not outwork me. You will not outwill me. You will not outwant me. You will not outhunger me. That playing field is completely equal because some of us just work harder. Some of us don't believe in excuses. Some of us truly value an opportunity. Some of us don't have a safety net when we walk across life's tightrope. Some of us see challenges as a get to and not a got to. It's something we get to overcome. And some of us have faith, faith, faith. And remember in life, we don't get our goals, we get our standards. What are your standards? Now, before you answer that, know that we see you on a daily. We know how you show up, we know what we witness. If your answer to that question is not in alignment with who you want to be, the good news is this. You can redefine yourself. You can make the change, but you gotta want to change. Get up, get out, and get started. <laughs> now, let me ask you something. If a car was manufactured to go 160 miles per hour and someone didn't like that car because of its size, could the car still go 160 miles per hour? <laughs> what if they didn't like it because of its color? Could it still go 160 miles per hour? What if that car only had one headlight? Could it still go 160? What if it was imported from another country? Could that car still go 160 miles per hour? Yes, 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 and yes. You know why? Because that's how the car was manufactured. And in essence, you are that car. And your manufacturer is the almighty. 
and he created you with specifics. And yes, I know there are things in life that make you feel otherwise at times. Maybe you feel stepped on. Maybe you feel stepped over. Maybe you feel abused. Maybe you feel pushed aside. Maybe you feel less than. So do me a favor, the next time you feel that way, rev your engine on them. Put the pedal to the metal because you know what? Your speed cannot be reduced because your manufacturer is the almighty. <laughs> and that's why he's called the creator. So newsflash, you are man enough. You are woman enough. You are husband enough. You are wife enough. You are employee enough. You are friend enough. You are enough, 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 enough. And anyone who cannot, will not, or refuses to see that, well, you probably got the wrong passenger in your car. So go ahead, pull over, let them out, wish them well, and be on your way. So keep on shining, keep on glowing, keep on keeping on. Keep your oil changed, keep your tires rotated, keep your engine tuned, and ride. <laughs>